the 50% factor for longevity. If there's just one thing you can do, you need to focus on this because it is half of all the secrets for living longer. Here's a study that looked at the risk factors for death and they looked to see what was the biggest thing you should focus on and what do you think it was? It was your diet, 50%. Now that is more important than not smoking, more important than blood sugar, cholesterol, blood pressure, and everything else. So we're gonna spend uh, the next few in this series focusing on diet and longevity. And I wanna start by looking back at the Blue Zone study that kind of started all of this quite a while back. They did a follow-up study where they looked at the dietary surveys of 150 people that lived a really long time. And here's what they came up with as being the most important things. Starting at the top, retreat from meat, as in eat less meat. Now that's what we teach you on the seven systems plan. Reduce dairy was the next thing. Slash sugar, you know about that. And they said to eliminate eggs or not eat more than three a week. Now, I will tell you, there's a difference between free range eggs and regular eggs. So there's a little bit of a debate on that. Go easy on fish, but three times a week. That's not really too hard to do. Snack on nuts. And you guys all should be doing that. A small handful of nuts every day. Drink mostly water, get away from the sugary stuff, but also coffee, tea, and red wine in moderation. A daily dose of beans. Now that's a little tougher one, but beans are very helpful. And then go wholly whole, which means eat real food. Fruits, vegetables, fermented foods, and try to eat them uh, with as little processing <coughs> as possible. And what was the very biggest factor at the bottom of the pyramid? It was eat plants, lots of plants, plants, plant, plants. All the vegetables you guys should be loading up on. Here's a study where they looked at plant-based diets for healthy aging and they found that plant-based diets explained half the difference in lifespan. The 50% factor is eating plants. So to sum up the Blue Zone study, they said family coherence is very important, not smoking, moderate and daily physical activity, social engagement, integration into a community like this, and a plant-based diet. So to review, what you eat trumps everything. There is nothing more important than what you eat. Let's look at some specific items that uh, may be in your diet and see how much of a risk factor or health benefit they are. So that just changing your diet, nothing with stress control, nothing with sleep, nothing with any of the other things that we teach on the seven systems plan, but changing your diet at age 20 will add 13 years to your life. Now remember, there's other things you can add to boost that even more, but look at this next line. At age 60, changing your diet adds 10 years to your life. That's not much difference at age 20, which means if you're middle age, making some healthy changes can have a tremendous benefit. Now by age 80, it's only gaining you three years, but again, there's other things you can be doing. And specific things, what was the single biggest food item that increased years in your life? Legumes, the beans hummus, peas, two and a half years more, whole grains, 2.3, nuts, two years, less red meat, which is what I want you to do, plus 1.9, and less processed meat, we need to get away from all the processed meat, another plus 1.9. Now on the seven systems plan, we make it simple for you. We give you the food groups that you should eat from and the amounts you should eat to make it real easy for you to incorporate. One last thing I'm gonna throw out here. This was a very, very interesting study where they looked at all of the nutrients that, that you could consume. 
and all of them boosted longevity, 146 different nutrients. But look at that one, way up above everything else. What do you think that nutrient was? I know what you're thinking, but I'm going to tell you, this is a one time where the answer is not vitamin D. You produce less of this as you get older. They checked centenarians' blood and found that they had lots of this nutrient. And in animal studies, this one nutrient extends the life of mice by 25%. Stay with me in this series and we'll show you what that is.